Hey guys, so this is the um, really, really short tutorial for the uh, birdhouses that we're going to be doing this week. Um, I'm not actually going to make one of the birdhouses, so I wanted to make sure that everybody who signed up got one because we actually ended up uh, going into the wait list. So let's just jump into it um, and uh, I'll just show you how to put it together really quick and give you some advice on how to finish it up. Okay, so let's jump into it. So I am just going to go through what is in the package and then I'm going to just quickly put one of these together. I'm not going to actually paint it. Um, I have just enough to get um, everybody who signed up one of these so I'm not going to waste one by, uh, by putting it together and, and painting it and everything. So one of you will get one of these that has already been opened and that will be this one here. So um, each of these has instructions. Um, there are three different styles of birdhouses. So each of these um, papers uh, shows you how to put each one together. So it'll be uh, the same instruction. And uh, in here, you're going to have a little piece of string so that you can tie this off later. So this looks like a front and a back. And then we have four walls and then a bottom. So those look like the walls. I believe this is going to be the top. And I think this one is the bottom, but I will look at the instructions. Now these ones are basically put together with a tongue and groove system. So um, it looks like we are putting together this one that's on the top. Um, so yeah, this birdhouse is, is that one um, right there. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. So it looks like it wants you to take the back and put on one of the sides. So the picture here looks like this one and then it fits um, in here like that. And I'm not gonna push these all together because I, I need to take this back apart. And it looks like it wants you to do the other one, which I believe is this one. Nope, is it that one? This one, okay, so that's one of the other ones. All right, so, and then you just put this side on like this. So you just put these into the hole that's been made. And then of course, you know, you put on the front one and then you'll put on the bottom and you'll just stick them in like this and then you have uh, the top, which it looks like you've got to put this top on first here, and then the second part of the top will end up going on like this, and then the last two pieces will fit together in this little tongue and groove, all right? Um, and it also, I see this one has um, the holes, so this will be where you take your uh, twine you will put it through both of the holes, you'll make a knot. Um, if you want to hide the knot, I would suggest um, maybe putting the knot inside so you can always put one end in here. You can flip this through the back, which is there. And you can always tie your knot inside and leave a nice little loop or if you want the tie to be on the outside, you know, you can do that. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an idea of how these get put together. So I'm gonna actually take this apart um, so that one of you guys can have this one. You are going to get two paint brushes, one of the, a bigger one and then the detail brush, which are these ones. And then you're gonna get one of these pre-filled paint pots full of Basically, the primary color is white and black. Um, oh, there's no yellow in this one. That is very, very odd that they would give you orange and red instead of a yellow because yellow and red make orange. So I do apologize if you wanted yellow. Um, if you've done any of these painting kits with us and you happen to have any leftover yellow from one of the other, you know, you can use that. It's the same paint. All right, so just to give you a little info this is a very very tiny hole for birds i mean it's about as big as round as my thumb 
If you want your birdhouse to be more than just a decoration, if you actually want a bird to try to nest in here, this might have to get made bigger. Um, we got these off of Oriental Trading and this might have just been meant to be decorative. So if you do want to make this as a functional birdhouse, you can, but you might want to make this a little bigger. Once you have painted, you can seal this if you want. Um, if you're going to leave it outside, you know, for a bird, it will get, you know, rained and snowed on. You'll want to seal this. This is only acrylic paint, which is, you know, water-based. There are some sealers out there, and I will put this information um, in your kit. You're going to want a sealer that is non-toxic, environmentally friendly, um, and all that, natural products. Um, once you've sealed this, you're going to want to let it sit for a day or two before you actually hang it up because you want all the fumes from the sealer to have completely evaporated off before you let a bird try to come in here. Don't paint the inside if you want a bird to nest in here. Um, they would much prefer um, natural wood inside it. Um, that way they don't peck any of the paint or eat it. Uh, we wouldn't want the birds to get ill. So anyway, that is pretty much all for this video. It is very short. So again, I showed you how to put these together. Make the hole bigger if you want a real bird to go in there because that's like only big enough for a hummingbird. And even at that, it'd be a tight fit. So I would make this a little bigger. If you want a bird to nest in here, don't paint the inside. If you need to seal it, use something that is um, bird friendly, non-toxic, environmentally friendly, made from natural products. Let it sit for a couple days before you put it outside for a bird to actually nest in. Okay, guys, have fun with this, and we will see you next time for our next kit. Okay, bye.